हेलो स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर नंबर एट बिल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एंड इट इज अवर लास्ट क्वेश्चन हियर वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर द बिल्स फॉर थ्री लेडीज मिसिज थॉमस मिसिज सलीम एंड मिसिज चंद्रा सो फर्स्ट इज फॉर मिसिज थॉमस मिसिज थॉमस बॉक्ट वन के जी बिस्किट्स फोर रुपीज फाइव सो here the 5 rupees is the cost of 1 kg biscuit then after 500 g butter 4 rupees 28 so 28 rupees is the cost of 500 g butter then after 2 loaves of bread 4 rupees 15 each means 15 rupees is the cost of 1 loaves of bread and such two loaves she purchased so 15 rupees is the cost of each packet of bread and then after 4 kg of cereal at rupees 45 per kg so 45 is the cost of 1 kg cereal and such 4 kg cereals she purchased now we have to prepare the bill for her so what is the total amount mrs thomas spent so here is the bill in first column we will write the items in second column quantity in third column rate per kg and in last column price so she purchased the total four things biscuits butter bread and cereal biscuits 1 kg she purchased 1 kg biscuit 500 g butter Two loaves of bread and four kg cereal. Now rate per kg, five rupees is the cost of one kg biscuit. So the price of one kg biscuit equals to five rupees. So that we have to write here in last column. Then after butter, butter she bought five hundred gram and the cost is twenty eight rupees. Now here be careful. Twenty eight rupees is not the cost of one kg. I have mentioned nothing. Kare lo ke twenty eight rupees e one kg butter ni cost cha. Jee rite direct ma lakhe lo cha jo fifteen rupees each. Matlab ek packet na fifteen rupees. Forty five rupees per kg. It means Forty five rupees is the cost of one kg, but here it is not written that twenty eight rupees per kg. At least here I would understand that twenty eight rupees is five hundred gram butter. Ni cost is one kg butter. Ni na thi. So here twenty eight will come directly. Clear? So the price of five hundred gram butter equal to twenty eight rupees. Next is bread, two loaves, and the cost is fifteen rupees per. Each packet, one packet ni kimmat cha. So we have such two loaves. So what we'll do? Price of two loaves of bread equals to two into fifteen. That will be thirty rupees. So here we will write thirty. Okay. And lastly, cereal. She purchased four kg, and forty-five is what the cost of one kg. Here it is clearly mentioned. Give forty-five a. kg cereal ni cost che so we have to multiply 45 with 4 to get the total cost of cereal so price of 4 kg cereal equals to 45 into 4 that is 180 rupees so that is here now we got the individual prices now total price equals to we have to add this four prices so it will be 243.00 and what about grand total sales tax is not given What is the difference between total and grand total? If sales tax is given, we have to add the tax in this to find the grand total. जो tax आपे लो होए तो total में tax add करो पची तमने grand total मरे. जो tax नथी आपे लो तो total अने grand total सर खा था ही कारण के tax नथी means tax is zero. In this situation, total and grand total will be equal so the bill is prepared for mrs thomas now we will go for next mrs salim mrs salim bought six pencils at rupees 48 a dozen 
इट मीन्स फोर्टी एज रू फोर्टी एट रुपीज इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन डजन पेन्सिल देन आफ्टर ट्वेल्व इरेजर्स एट रुपीज फोर ईच इट मीन्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन इरेजर इज फोर रुपीज एंड सच ट्वेल्व इरेजर्स शी परचेस्ड देन आफ्टर सिक्सटीन नॉट बुक्स एट रुपीज ट्वेल्व ईच इट मीन्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन नॉट बुक इज ट्वेल्व एंड सच सिक्सटीन नॉट बुक्स शी परचेस्ड एंड फाइनली एट लास्ट एट ट्यूब्स ऑफ फेब्रिक पेंट एट रुपीज फोर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो अ ट्यूब सो दिस इज वॉट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच ट्यूब एंड सच एट ट्यूब्स शी परचेस्ड एंड वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर द बिल फॉर मिसिज सलीम सो सेम वे वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर फर्स्ट कॉलम विल बी फॉर आइटम्स इन सेकेंड कॉलम क्वान्टिटी इन थर्ड कॉलम रेट एंड इन लास्ट कॉलम प्राइस इंडिविजुअल प्राइस सो फर्स्ट इज पेंसिल हाउ मेनी पेंसिल्स सिक्स इरेजर्स ट्वेल्व इरेजर्स देन आफ्टर सिक्सटीन नॉट बुक्स एंड एट ट्यूब्स ऑफ फेब्रिक पेंट ओके नाउ रेट इज गिवन फोर्टी एट रुपीज अ डजन देन फोर रुपीज ऑफ ईच इरेजर ट्वेल्व रुपीज ऑफ ईच नॉट बुक एंड फोर्टीन रुपीज ऑफ ईच ट्यूब नाउ वी हैव टू गेट टोटल प्राइस सो हाउ टू फाइंड प्राइज ऑफ सिक्स पेंसिल इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू वाई बिकॉज फोर्टी एट इज द प्राइज ऑफ वन डजन वन डजन मीन्स ट्वेल्व पेन्सिल्स एक डजन में ट्वेल्व पेन्सिल्स हो सिक्स मीन्स एनी हाफ है सो प्राइज विल ऑल्सो बी हाफ देट्स वाई फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज विल बी द प्राइज ऑफ सिक्स पेन्सिल्स सो देट इज रिटर्न हियर next is eraser 12 erasers are there and 4 is the cost of each eraser so 12 fours are 48 so 48 rupees is the cost of 12 eraser then after 16 notebooks and the cost of one notebook is 12 so 12 into 16 it will be 192 rupees then after tube of fabric paint how many tubes total 8 tubes and 14 rupees is the cost of each tube so 8 into 14 that will be 112 rupees so this is what individual cost of each and everything which is written over here now we will find the total of all the things so total equals to we have to add this for it will be 376.00 rupees and same like previous sum grand total will be 376.00 because here also tax is zero sales tax is not given that's why total and grand total will be equal so this is all about mrs salim now we will go for mrs chandra mrs chandra bought six apples at rupees 48 a dozen it means the cost of 1 dozen apple equal to 48 then after 10 bananas at rupees 35 a dozen means the cost of 1 dozen banana equals to 35 rupees and 8 pineapples at rupees 15 each it means the cost of 1 pineapple is 15 and such 8 pineapples she purchased and what is the total amount of mrs chandra spent so we have to prepare the bill for her she purchased total three things apples banana and pineapples how many apples six bananas 10 and pineapples eight now what is rate 48 rupees is the cost of one dozen apple one dozen means 12 piece and she purchased 6 apple so we have to do half of this right so half of 48 the method is here price of 6 apples equals to 48 divided by 2 that will be 24 rupees which is here next banana she she purchased total 10 bananas and the cost of a dozen banana is 35 dozen means 12 so price of 10 banana equals to 35 into 10 divided by 12 clear 
now how this came so for that cross multiplication method you have to use i am speaking how to do this how to get this the cost of 12 banana equal to 35 then 10 banana equal to how much 12 banana 35 rupees 10 bananas how much then you cross multiply you will get this 35 into 10 divided by 12 now do the cancellation 2 fives are 10 and 2 sixes are 12 so numerator is 5 denominator is 6 now we cannot cancel any thing 35 will also be not cancelled with 6 and 5 will also not so multiply 35 with 5 you will get 175 divided by 6 so when you divide it by 6 you will get 29.16 rupees so this is what the cost of 10 banana so we have to write it here 29.16 rupees and then after eight pineapples this is easy because the cost of each pineapple is given 15 rupees so just multiply 15 with 8 you will get the cost of eight pineapple that is 120 rupees so here 120 will come now find the total so add all these three prizes we will get 173.16 rupees and grand total again it is similar because here also sales tax is zero so this is the bill for mrs chandra now three questions are asked at last the first question is the total weight of mrs thomas we have to find we have to find the total weight of mrs thomas so see here weight means whose unit is kg or gram that we have to add so 1 kg 4 kg and 500 gram we cannot find the weight of this two lowels ano weight khyal nahi aave to jeno unit kg athwa to gram che eno j weight find karo so it will be 4 plus 1 5 and 5 kg 500 g so it will be 5.500 okay so what is the total weight mrs uh, thomas the total weight of mrs thomas will be 5 kg and 500 g so 5.5 kg second question is what the difference we have to find Here we have to find the difference of the bill of Mrs. Salim and Mrs. Chandra. So the total cost of Mrs. Salim is three seventy six and Mrs. Chandra is one seventy three point sixteen. Difference means we have to perform subtraction. So you will get the answer two hundred and two point eighty four rupees. And the last question is total amount of all three ladies. so we have to add the total of mrs thomas then after the total cost of mrs salim and then total of mrs chandra so it is uh, 243.00 then after 376.00 and 173.16 so if you add all these three you will get 792.16 rupees Okay so this is the last question of this chapter and with this chapter is over so you have to note down all the sums total three sums are there in exercise so note down these three sums in your class work i'm sending the uh, pdf in whatsapp group thank you